Hi, kitty cats. Okay, another uh, episode, another uh, woman that we want to read today again. And this is, um, is Mary Agnes Chase is her name. Okay, right there she is. And um, she is a botanist and suffragist. And suffragists mean those are the women uh, that were fighting for the, um, the right for women to vote. Okay, so that's what we're going to learn about her a little bit more. Um, okay, Marie Agnes Chase was a tiny woman with a fighting spirit. I liked her already. She was born in 1869 and grew up in Chicago. So she's... American again. She started working after finishing grammar school in order to help her family. But in her spare time, she enjoyed learning about botany. You know what botany is? Botany is learning about plants. Plants. She would go on trips to sketch plants and use her small savings to take a few botany classes at the University of Chicago and the Lewis Institute. Her informal education also included working with botanist Reverend Ellsworth Jerome Hill. He mentored Mary and in exchange she illustrated plants for his paper. Her impressive sketchbooks got her a part-time job at the Chicago Field Museum of Natural History, where she was the scientific illustrator for a few of the museum's publications. Mary figured out how to use a microscope and do technical drawings on the job. With her new skills, Mary became a full-time illustrator for the United States Department of Agriculture, USDA, in 1903. At the USDA, Mary worked as assistant to the botanist Albert Hitchcock. Together, they took on the task of collecting and classifying grasses in North and South America until his death in 1935. When she became the senior botanist in charge of systematic agrostrology, agrostrology. Unlike her male co co colleagues, Mary was often denied funding to travel. But not content to just stay in the lab, she traveled all over the United States and South America, even if it meant paying her own way. Mary discovered thousands of new species of grasses from around the world and authored and co-authored many books on those plants. Mary called grass the plant that holds the soil. And she was able to figure out which grasses were the best to feed livestock. With Albert Hitchcock, she studied commercially developed grass strain to make sure that they were as advertised. A lot of today's food has been informed by Mary's important research. Mary was also a suffragist. She protested for women's right to vote in the United States even when the USDA threatened her, threatened to fire her. She bravely participated in the 1918 hunger strike in which she was jailed and force fed. She sacrifices, her sacrifices helped gain women the right to vote in 1920. So 2020 is a hundred years of women getting the right to vote in the United States. So people like Mary, that we should be very thankful we women today in the United States should be very thankful for people like Mary Agnes Chase. Without them, we will not have our vote, our right to vote today. Mary continued her work for the USDA until she retired in 1939. 
She was an honorary curator for the Smithsonian up until her death in 1963. Her research was left to the Smithsonian, where it continues to be used. And Smithsonian is in Washington, D.C. And I hope that one day you get a chance to go see it if you haven't seen it already. It's just wonderful. Anyways, um, she is the, she's considered the world's greatest agritologist, expert in grass. Agritologist mean grass someone that studied grass. Identify thousands of types of grass all over the world. Suffragists who fought over women's right to vote, of course. And Mary Agnes Chase said, grass made it possible for the human race to abandon their cave life and follow herds. And she worked odd jobs in stockyards, a grocery store, and a magazine. Solo uh, she Solo wrote and illustrated a first book of grasses, The Structure of Grasses Explained for Beginners. Given an honorary degree from the University of Illinois, and she was an active member in the NAACP. And she was an honorary fellow at the Smithsonian Institution and fellow at the Linen Society of London. Her home in Washington, D.C. called Casa Contenta became a place for Latin American women botanists to stay while learning in the U.S. She collected over 10,000 different types of grass specimens from around the world. So that is Mary Agnes Chase, who's a botanist and suffragist. Okay the end for now and until next time we will learn more about uh, more women that has contributed to human history and science okay have a good night sleep tight don't let the bed bugs bite Mwah.